In this example, I need to find the exact value of the remaining trigonometric functions for angle theta if the secant of theta equals negative 3 and the sine of theta is greater than 0. Now the easiest trig function to find is the reciprocal of the secant function. So remember that's the cosine function. So the cosine of theta is 1 divided by the secant of theta. So that's 1 divided by the secant of theta is negative 3. We never leave a negative in the denominator, so we'd write the answer as negative 1 third. Now to find the other trig functions, I'm going to need to know the quadrant in which this angle terminates. So remember, the cosine of theta is defined in terms of x, y, and r as x over r. As r is always positive for this angle, I'm going to pick x to equal negative 1, r to equal positive 3. That gives me the cosine of theta equals negative 1 third. And in which quadrants is the x value negative? Well, it's negative in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. And using the last piece of information given, I know the sine of theta, remember defined in terms of x, y, and r, is y over r. We were told it was greater than 0 or it's positive. As r is always positive, that means in this case that y has to be positive. And in which quadrants is y greater than 0? So that means y has to be above the x-axis, so that's in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. So now I know my angle terminates in quadrant 2, as that's the only quadrant in which the secant is negative and the sine is positive. So I'm going to draw my angle in quadrant 2. So there's my terminal side in quadrant 2. There's my angle theta. Drawing in my little right triangle going down to the x-axis. This is x, this is y, and this is r. I need to find y using the Pythagorean theorem. So x squared plus y squared equals r squared. x is negative 1, so I have negative 1 squared plus y squared equals r is 3 squared. Negative 1 r squared is 1 plus y squared equals 3 squared is 9. Subtracting 1 from both sides, I get y squared equals, excuse the bad handwriting, 9 minus 1 is 8. So I now know that y equals the positive square root of 8. And remember to factor 8, it factors to 4 times 2. 4 is a perfect square, leave it alone. So I'm going to write this as the square root of 4 times 2. And what is the square root of 4? It is 2, the square root of 2 does not simplify, so I know that y equals 2 times the square root of 2. So now I know the value of y, x, and r, I can find any trig function for this angle. So the sine of theta is y over r. y we just found to be 2 times the square root of 2 divided by r, which is 3. So that's the value of the sine of theta. Now to find its reciprocal, the cosecant of theta, that's going to be r over y, because it's the reciprocal of the sine function, so it's the reciprocal of this fraction. So it's just going to be 3 over 2 times the square root of 2. Now, if you're allowed to leave the answer in this form, that's fine. But if you have to rationalize the denominator, you just multiply numerator and denominator by the square root of 2. 
and I get 3 times the square root of 2 over 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. So the cosecant of theta is 3 times the square root of 2 over 2 times 2 is 4. Now all I have to do is find the tangent and the cotangent. So the tangent of theta is y over x. y is 2 times the square root of 2. x was negative 1. We never leave a negative in the denominator. So we write that as negative 2 times the square root of 2. And lastly, the cotangent of theta, that's the reciprocal of the tangent of theta. So it's the reciprocal of this, it's x over y, which is negative 1 over 2 times the square root of 2. If you're allowed to leave radicals in the denominator, that's going to be your answer. But if you need to rationalize the denominator, multiply numerator and denominator by the square root of 2. And I get negative 1 times the square root of 2, which is negative the square root of 2, divided by 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is just 2. So my answer is negative the square root of 2 divided by 2 times 2 is 4. So I've now found the other five trig functions for this angle theta.